Probably the most famous rough collie of all time is Lassie, the dog who won the hearts of many viewers of the 1954 television series of the same name. The breed is also known as a Scottish Collie or Long-Haired Collie. There is also a Short-Haired Smooth Collie, which is classified by the FCI as a separate breed. History and Origin of the Rough Collie It is thought that the Romans brought herding dogs to Scotland, which were mixed with local dogs. The resulting collies were used for herding in the Scottish moors. Collies actually take their name from Scottish sheep, which had black legs and heads, and were called collies. The dogs that would herd them came to be known as collie dogs. It is assumed that in the 19th century, bozois were also crossed in, which gave today's rough collie its elongated and narrow head and noble appearance. Queen Victoria was a big fan of the breed and would give rough collies as gifts to royal families and diplomats of various European nations. The dogs later arrived in Australia and the USA via merchant ships. In 1840, the first collie club was founded in England. The intelligent dogs were used as medical and messenger dogs in the British Army during the two world wars. Appearance of the Rough Collie There are two Rough Collie varieties, the British and the American Rough Collie. The FCI has only officially recognized the British version since 1955. According to the breed standard, males should reach a height at the withers of 56 to 61 cm and females 51 to 56 cm. The unspecified weight is between 16 to 34 kilos, depending on the sex. The dog's life expectancy is around 13 to 15 years. The American Rough Collie is larger and can weigh over 35 kilos. Its head and whole body are stronger than the British variety. In general, Rough Collies appear elegant and almost aristocratic in their appearance and movement. The dog's long, smooth and luxuriant coat has a silky soft undercoat and appear in the colors sable, blue merle and tricolor. Sable refers to a color tone that can change from a light gold to dark mahogany. Blue merles, on the other hand, are blue-gray colored collies with black or tan badges. The tricolor collie is predominantly black with tan markings on the head and legs. All should carry typical white collie markings to a greater or lesser degree. However, the merle gene can cause health problems such as deafness, blindness or early death. Therefore, only one parent of a genetically healthy litter may have the Merle gene. Temperament and training of the Rough Collie The dogs are loyal, friendly and very intelligent. They build up a strong bond to their owner and, like all other Collies, are very sensitive and good-natured. They learn very quickly and can respond to a considerable number of commands. In their pack, Rough Collies subordinate themselves quickly which makes them good with children. They are rather reserved towards strangers. Depending on the litter, their herding instinct is more or less pronounced. Some rough collies can be prone to barking a lot. The dogs are very active, therefore dog sports such as dog dancing, agility courses or tracking are ideal. Rough collies can also be trained as rescue dogs. Exercise and care of the rough collie. The dogs love long walks in all weathers, and as they have almost no hunting instinct, they will always stay close to their owner. In general, the Rough Collie is a healthy breed. Some dogs can be affected by eye diseases such as Collie Eye Anomaly or Progressive Retinal Atrophy. This disease destroys the visual cells of the retina. Hypersensitivity to some medications, which can lead to movement disorders, vomiting, coma and even death can be caused by the MDR1 defect. A genetic test can be taken to determine this. Mud, leaves and sticks can easily get caught in a rough collie's long coat. To prevent the coat becoming matted, regular brushing is advisable.